so before we got started, we're just going to quickly pray and put today's service into um, God's hands. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to meet uh, here today. We ask that whatever we hear today, retain in our hearts, that we will not leave here the same, that we will retain the knowledge and then we can use it in our day-to-day -day life. As we go about today, Father, guide us and make sure that everything that we do is in line with your word. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 So, let's see. Let me share my screen. Just one. Can you guys see the screen? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Um, so today's lesson is going to be the Ascension of Jesus, which is lesson number six. Um, so does anybody remember what you guys learned last week? Can anybody tell me what you learned? Does anybody, can anybody I tell me? We... About... Go ahead, sorry. I know. Yes. We learned about the death and resurrection of Jesus. Excellent. Who's that? Is that Margaret? Yes. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else other than Margaret like want to contribute? Um, Jeffy. Yes. Um, I think they said something about Jesus being pierced with um the soldiers, the one mm -hmm. sword. Something yeah. about that he wasn't supposed to his um that none of his bones would be broken mm -hmm, mm -hmm. good job um so that can anybody tell me who found out that uh jesus had was uh had risen like can you tell me who it was can you repeat the question please so who who was the first person that knew that jesus had risen You guys want multiple choice? Was it Mary? Yes, there was two Marys. But before that, who informed Mary that Jesus has risen? <clears throat> it's on number two. An angel. Exactly. So um, basically, an angel told Mary Magdalene and another Mary that Jesus had risen. And then they ran to tell the disciples. And, and then Jesus met the women and they worshiped worship him. Um, so does anybody know the memory verse from last week? Can you recite it without looking at your Bible? Can anybody tell me what the memory verse was? <clears throat> so memory verse first corinthians 15 3 to 4 okay nobody remembers okay so can can anybody we're gonna read it from the screen then um so for what I received, 
I cannot hear you guys. Let me go to like left repeat one. Yeah, you can read it because nobody remembered it. <laughs> so for what I received, for what I have received, I passed on to you. I passed on to you as of first importance. As of, of a force, first importance. That Christ died for our sins. That Christ died for our sins. According to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. That he was buried. That he was buried. That he was raised. That he was raised. On the third day. On the third day. According to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. Amen. Sorry, guys. I'm a little, have some allergies going on here. Um, so just, we're going to watch just like a two-minute video about the uh, ascension of Jesus. So it's really quickly. So we're going to watch that really quick. Installation process ensures your gutters are in tip-top shape and prep to protect your home. Step one, we clean your gutters. Step two, we realign and Jesus goes to heaven. Matthew chapter 28 verses 16 through 20. Luke chapter 24 verses 44 through 51. And Acts chapter 1 verses 6 through 11. Jesus had told his disciples. I gave my life so that you could be with me in heaven. I am going there to prepare a wonderful new home for you. When I come back the next time, I will take you with me. But now, it was time for Jesus to leave. Jesus said, God has given me complete power over heaven and earth. Go and tell everyone the good news. Make new disciples, baptize them, and teach them to obey my commandments. Don't ever forget, I will always be with you. Go to Jerusalem and wait there, said Jesus. The Holy Spirit will come to you. He will give you power to tell people about me. Now the time has come for me to go to heaven. Do not be afraid. Then Jesus went up toward heaven in a cloud. His disciples stared at the sky for a long time. All of a sudden, Two angels appeared. They asked, Why are you standing here looking at the sky? Jesus will return the same way you saw him go. Then the disciples remembered what Jesus had said. They returned to Jerusalem and waited for the Holy Spirit to come. Okay. Going home. Hold on. Jesus' friends were afraid, so they were hiding in an upstairs room with the door. Okay. Um, so we're going to read today's scripture is Luke 24, um, 36 to 52. So if you guys can open up your Bibles to Luke 24. Have you guys found the, the scriptures? Yeah, I'm there. Okay. Has everybody found it? Yes. Okay. So who wants to start uh, 
the first person I want the first person to read from 36 to 39. So who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Wow. Margaret, can you read 36 to 39, please? Yeah, no problem. Um, the disciple were still talking about this when Jesus himself suddenly stood among them. He said, may you have peace. They were surprised and terrified. They thought they were seeing a ghost. Jesus said to them, why are you troubled? Why do you have doubts in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It's really me. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have a body or bones, but you can see that I do. Amen. Amen. That's good job. Um, who is next? Um, Stephen, can you read 40 to 43? Stephen? Stephen, are you online? Okay. What about Gifty? Are you able to reach 40 to 43? Yeah. yeah. And when he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still disbelieved for joy and were marveling, he said to them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and ate before them. That is awesome. Thank you. And then, um, let's see who is online. Elizabeth, are you able to read 40 to 47? Elizabeth? Okay. What about Samuel? Can you read 44 to 47? 44? Yes. Okay. Then he said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms, must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. Okay, and then the last person, can somebody read 48 to 52, please? Anybody wants to read, read 48 to 52? What about uh, Kevin? Can you read 48 to 52? Kevin? Okay. So I guess that... Luke um, 24, verse 36 to 52. Yeah, so I, I need you to read from 48 to 52 because we've read the other parts. Okay. Should I read it? Yes, please. 
You are a witness of these things. I am going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. When he had led them out to the city of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. Amen. 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 You guys, Amen. everybody did such a good job. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, before we go and discuss the scripture, um, so a quick question. Has anybody flown a kite before? Has anybody flown a kite? No. I have. I have. Awesome. So can you guys tell me what, what was your experience flying a kite? Like, what was, the, what was your experience? Um, I liked it, but where I live, there's lots of trees. So it would go in the trees, and I would be sad after that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, anybody else? Um, me, Candela. Yes, Candela, go ahead. I tried to fly a kite. I didn't know that there was no wind. Mm -hmm. And then after, um, I tried to fly it, but it wasn't flying. Then after, when I came back outside and I found that there was wind, I tried to, I flied it, and mm -hmm. it was, it was going, like, in zigzags and stuff. Oh, wow. Did you go, <clears throat> has anybody flown it that's gone really up high, uh, before? No, I haven't. Anybody else? So has anybody flown a kite? Like anybody else want to give the experience? Going once, twice, three times. Have, have you guys that made your own kites before? Did you make your own kites? No. When I was little, I did. Okay, so I'm gonna just, we're gonna watch this quick video on how to make your own kite. And then this, this is gonna be on the YouTube site, uh, the presentation. So when you have a chance, if you're, obviously when the weather gets better and then you, we can go outside, there's more lift, uh, limit, um, they lift a lot of the restrictions. This is something maybe you can uh, make and then uh, fly some uh, kites over the summer. So it's pretty cool. You just need a few, um, you just need paper and like a few things, so. Grammarly helps you work more efficiently, which makes accomplishing your work goals. one that I wanted to show. Just give me one second. We want the paper one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it looks like the video, the link is gone, but I'll put it on, we'll put it on the YouTube website. There's one you can make with paper and it's really quick. It's about two minutes and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so can anybody tell me um, what do you think flying a kite symbolizes? 
uh, it's like a metaphor for Jesus' ascension. Like, can you tell me how a, a flying a kite may symbolize Jesus' ascension? Me, Candela. Yes, go ahead. Flying a kite is like, um, I think, um, in the Bible way, um, would be um, God going to heaven and also God's ascension from heaven to earth. That's very good. <coughs> he is right. Can somebody else, uh, somebody else want to give what they think in regards to uh, what it symbolizes? I think it's probably like when you're flying a kite, like how it flies around, like probably angels flying in the sky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Uh, anybody else? Um, I think it's about Jesus when he went to heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are all good. And you're right. So as we know, kites can soar to great heights. And uh, usually flying a kite, you know, represents freedom. And we know Jesus soared to great heights and was taken into heaven. Um, it can also represent the spiritual journey towards resurrection. And um, it can also represent our hope and desire to be caught by God's love and lifted to heights un unimaginable. So all of that you guys said is correct, exactly. And some cultures actually in Guyana from during Easter, they fly kites as part of your Easter celebration to symbolize um, Jesus' ascension. So <laughs> you guys did a very good job on that. So based on the readings that we've uh, learned, like we read today, the Luke um, 24, uh, I believe, was it 36 to 52? So the few points that we just want you to take away is that Jesus appeared to the disciples after his resurrection. He told them that he will be taken into heaven. Um, he led them out of Bethany. Bethany is a town that was in, uh, close to in Jerusalem. So he led the disciples out of there. And while blessing them, he was taken up to heaven. So these are what we want you guys to take from the lesson for today, um, these four points. <clears throat> so in regards to our application, um, so Jesus ascended to heaven and sat with the Father in, in glory. We shall also, as he said, be with him someday. So because Jesus is in heaven, you must also be heavily minded in your worship, service, offering, daily living. Just be heavily minded. Know that our goal is to make it to heaven. Okay. So the, <clears throat> the memory verse for today is 1 Timothy. 316. That's our memory verse for today. And um, so can any can we guys everybody unmute so we can all say it together, please? So please unmute your phones. Okay. So okay. Beyond all question. Beyond, beyond, beyond all questions. The mystery from which true godliness springs is great. The mystery from which true godliness springs in great. He appeared in the flesh. He appeared in the flesh. Was vind vindicated by the spirit. Was vindicated by the spirit. Was seen by angels was seen by angels was preached among the nations was, was preached among, among the, nations. the nations was believed on in the world was, was believed on in the world was taken up in glory was, was taken up in glory okay so can all the girls read it please okay Beyond all questions, the mystery from which 
Truth, godliness, strength, and is grace. He appeared in the flesh, was vindicated by the Spirit, was seen by angels, was preached among the nations, was believed on in the world, was taken up in glory. Amen. Amen. Okay, now can all the boys read it, please? Now, I know all the boys are mute. Unmute it and read it, please. Can y'all ask questions. questions? The mystery from which true God lies springs is great. He appeared in the flesh was in Keaton by the spirit was seen by angels was was preached among the nations was walking on in the world was take up in glory amen that's everybody did such a good job amen um so all of us the invitation is that we can sit at the heavenly place with christ so if we receive him as our lord and savior we can sit in the heavenly place with him. Um, so does anybody want to give your life to Jesus and recognize Jesus as your Lord and Savior today? <coughs> so, does anybody want to give your life to Jesus? Me. Who is me? Who is me? Your name, please. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Okay. So, Jeremiah, um, so basically what we'll do is that we'll send your name to Uncle Nietzsche, and Uncle Nietzsche will contact you in regards to with the prayer, okay? I don't understand so you said you wanted to give your life to Jesus today, correct? Right? So you, you said you wanted to give your life to Jesus. Yeah. Okay. So the, 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 the prayer to give you when you give your life to Jesus. So I'm going to give it to Uncle Nietzsche and Uncle Nietzsche will contact and they, they give you the prayer. Okay. 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 Um, so the challenge today is your position in heaven is assured, provided you live for the Lord daily. Um, so basically, that's our challenge is that we will live for the Lord daily so that our position in heaven is assured. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? What was the memory verse again? Um, so it was Timothy. Let's go back. I'll give it so you can write it down. It's Timothy, 1 Timothy 3.16. Okay. So do you guys have your notebooks if you want to write it down? Okay. And so are you guys still writing it down? Let me know when you're done. I'm done writing it down. I'm done. Amen. <clears throat> okay. Does anybody have any other questions?
Any questions? No? Okay. So there's no assignment this week, but as Uncle Nietzsche said, you have a quiz next week, next Sunday. Um, so the quiz is going to be uh, um, covering assignment one to four. Um, so if you haven't been doing it, just go back and do it so you can review it for the quiz. So. The quiz is going to be from assignment one to four, and that's going to be next Sunday, which is May 30th. Okay. Um, does anybody have questions about uh, the setting for the quiz? Any questions? No, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Margaret. And um, so what would be in the house security like? Like, what are we gonna be? I think. Sorry, the line was breaking up. Um, for the test, what like what exactly are we gonna be doing? Um, so basically, you know, most of the assignments. Oh, is, so, um, we ask you to memorize the whatever the um scripture was, and also some questions. So the I, as far as I know, the test is not going to be, the quiz is not going to be writing, it's going to be verbal. So I guess you're going to ask, they're going to ask each person the questions and it could be any questions from less, lesson one to lesson four. That's as far as I know. So you just have to know that, you just have to, um, I guess, know all the, the assignments that we've been giving you so far. So you just have to make sure you memorize, um, obviously, the the scripture that they're giving you and also the questions just go back and answer those questions and you should be fine can you give us the verse and chapter for all of the assignments yeah let me go back into the <coughs> the system here i don't have it right now on the screen but uh let me find it for you um mm -hmm. Just one moment. That's the ruler. Okay. Oh. Materials. Okay. <coughs> So I don't, I can't, let me see. I don't think I can put it on the screen right now, but um, I'm going to read it to you. So assignment number one was Hebrews 4.15. So it was Hebrews 4.15. Let me see if I can write it somewhere for you. Just give me one second, okay? Mm -hmm. One second. Okay. One moment. Yeah, let me get a notepad. I remember the second one that we did. The let me see. Pages. I'm going to try and write it so you guys will see. Um, Okay. 
And you see the screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I'm trying to type it for you. That's assignment number one. Okay. So Hebrews 4.15, memorize and write, recite and write down. And then assignment number two is memorize, <coughs> sorry, recite and write down Isaiah 53 verses four to five. That was assignment number two. Then assignment number three is memorize, recite, and write down Matthew 6, 14 to 15. And then there was a few questions. It's asked from the above verse, what will happen when we forgive others for our sins, of their sins? And then the next question is, what will happen when we do not forgive others for their sins? Others of your sins. And then assignment number four was memorize and write down 1 Corinthians 15, 3 to 4, and it says, why do you think Jesus is alive? So, those are the four assignments. So let me know, do, does you, are you writing it down? If you need to write it down, let me know when you're done. I got all of them down. Okay. Is anybody still writing? Is anybody still writing it down? I am. Okay. So just let me know when you're done. Okay. You still writing it down? Yeah. Okay.
I'm done. Okay, that's good. Um, and um, let's see. That's pretty much it for today. Um, so can I please ask Gifty, can you give us a closing prayer, please? I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Um, what is the Sunday school email? Okay. So the email is CM. North York. Okay, let me let me write it down for you guys again. Give me a second. Um, yeah, let me type it here for you. Let me make it highlight. So it's cm north york district at gmail.com. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Oh, no. <clears throat> One moment. Can you see it? So cm, cm, n o r t h. Y O R K D I S T R I C T at the at symbol G M A I L dot C O M. Okay. Did you get it? Yes, I got it. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. All right, so Gifty, can you please uh, give us a closing prayer, please? Dear God, we thank you for the lesson today. We thank you for our assignment. We thank you for today. today's work to learn something new. Amen. 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 Okay, so let's share the grace. So, for the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ and the love of the Lord and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, he is us now and forever. Now and Okay, so thank you guys so much and I uh, hope you have a good week and uh, I'll do my, I'll post the proper video for how to make a paper kite on the uh, YouTube site, but just have a good week and we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.